Hi. Yes. Hey, there <laughs> he is. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a rock star. My goal is to let everybody that I that follows me uh, get an opportunity to follow this guy, Boyne. Boyne Slot is a real hero. At a, at a, at a, as a kid, he started this project that has grown over the years and has done such amazing uh uh, just such amazing stuff cleaning up our oceans you know in a world of alarmists this is a guy who's not only ringing the alarm saying there's a problem he's also providing a solution through innovation and it's so inspiring to me i love it i love it and so boyne thank you for joining my uh my instagram live uh tell us uh, a tell us a little bit about yourself and and your nonprofit, the ocean cleanup yeah th thanks chris for the very kind uh introduction so uh, so at the Ocean Cleanup, our mission is to rid the world's oceans of plastic. And uh, of course, a lot of plastic out there, doing a lot of damage, and uh, we're basically trying to, to clean it up. And there's really two parts to that plan. On one hand, we're trying to clean up the plastic that's already in the ocean, the legacy pollution. You know, it doesn't go away by itself. Uh, right. So we, you know, we have to, to take care of that. Uh, but at the same time, of course, there's still much more plastic flowing, uh, uh, new plastic flowing into the ocean, uh, mostly through, through rivers. And what we found is that really just 1% of rivers are responsible for 80% of all plastic leading to the ocean. So by strategically placing what we call interceptors, which are sort of solar powered autonomous devices in the mouths of those rivers, we're trying to stop the plastic before it actually enters the oceans. And, um, and that's, yeah, that's really kind of the, the plan to, to rid the oceans of plastic. That's amazing. So you, people can get a firsthand look at this by following you at the ocean cleanup. Is that right? That's right, yeah, at the Ocean Cleanup. Go to the Ocean, the ocean Cleanup, guys. If you, if you get anything, if you take anything out of this, is follow uh, Boyan at the, the Ocean Cleanup. And also, he's got his own page. Uh, at, it's at Boyan Slot, B-O-Y-A-N-S-L-A-T-T. -T. Look him up. He's awesome. Um, you know, it's just a few of the facts. I, I, I know you're a, a humble guy, so you're not going to sit here and brag about yourself. Luckily, I am not humble, and I'm going to yeah. brag about you. Um, this past year, your company that you started, a nonprofit that you started from nothing, 99%, 99.9% .9 .9 just crowdsourced, you started a company that has cleaned up one, a half a million pounds of garbage this past year. Sure, yeah. A, a half a million pounds, 250 million kilos. I did the math in my head. I think it's about a half a million pounds, if not more. Um, and you think that by next year, you could you could increase that by 50 times. Is that correct? Yeah, well, it, it will definitely increase uh, quite a bit. So, of course, we, um, we started with this when it was um, yeah, founded when it was 18 years old. Of course, first few years was really about just developing the technology, making sure it works. Um, and now we're kind of at this inflection point where it's really about you know, rolling it out and, and you know, maximizing the, the impact that we have. So, because we've, we've uh, trialed the, the system in the ocean. We have a few uh, first interceptors in rivers now in, in Asia right. and Central America. And uh, now it's really about scaling it up, uh, producing them uh, at, at scale, and uh, hopefully have many more of those interceptors uh, in, in rivers next year, as well as having really a, a full-scale cleanup system in this patch next year as well. Got it. And, and that's so amazing. So not only are you, are you putting out the, this, these innovative uh, you know, ocean cleanup machines that you've essentially invented and, and thought up for, with your brilliant brain. You're also uh, putting these interceptors to prevent plastic from coming down through this handful of ocean, uh, handful of rivers that yes. uh, throw uh, plastic out of the ocean. So you're, you're attacking it twofold. This is not an inexpensive task. And so we talk about these super stylish sunglasses right there. Look, you want to wear the sunglasses that I wear? You want to wear the sunglasses that Boyne's wearing? Check them out. They come in this really amazing ocean cleanup uh, uh, like container with a little net that looks a lot like the net that the garbage is kept in out in the, uh, out in the ocean. And all of this, 100% of this is made from recycled plastic from your ocean <laughs> cleanup. Is that correct? Yeah, and 100% so of the, the proceeds also go to, to the continuation of the cleanup. So basically one pair will allow us to fund the cleanup of an, an area uh, equating to 24 football fields worth of ocean. So just one pair, 24 football fields. So um, yeah, so of course, you know, <laughs> cleaning the ocean, of course, it's kind of a no man's land, this great piece of a garbage patch, 
Right. Right. Nobody considers it's his or her problem. So right. we thought, well, can we actually, you know, we're of course taking out a lot of trash. Can we actually use that as a solution? Because so if we can you know, make it into something valuable, uh, of course, hopefully the more plastic we get out, the more funding we'll have to get even more plastic out, right? So, uh, so that's the plan. And of course, this is the first attempt with these uh, you know, very stylish Paris shades. And, Dude, honestly, uh, they're dope. They're really good. Not only did you, not only are, is it, dope that this is by buying these 24 football fields of garbage gets cleaned up in the Pacific Ocean. That's amazing. But uh, they also look really fly. Like I, I have a hard time finding sunglasses that look good. And look, guys, I think uh, we can all agree that these look dope. And they come in this amazing thing. So the way you're going to get that is you're going to go to the ocean cleanup.com. That's yes. the website. Yes, go there right away. Uh, uh, go there right away. Get yourself a pair of glasses. You look, Christmas is coming up. It's a great gift. The story is really cool. This is one of those things, because look, everyone has a conscience, okay? We all have it deep down inside. Some of us is very, very, very way deep. We all have a conscience. <laughs> and so the, the, the problem these days is that we're, we're making a lot of efforts to do something that feels good. That's important. But it's also important to do something that only makes you feel good, but actually is effective. Because there's a lot of things that we do that make us feel good that are not effective. And this is something that is is proven to be effective. Boyan's not r rolling around in a Maserati. He's putting every bit of profit right back into this company. He's a humble, uh, gracious innovator. He's the kind of person that should inspire young people to not only ring the alarm bell that something is wrong, but also step up and find a way to do something about it. So Boyan, hats off to you, man. You you are you are so awesome. That's Boyan Slot at the Ocean Cleanup. You can uh, you can follow his his website or follow his Instagram page. Um, follow him on socials. It's amazing. It, I, I'm gonna put this on uh, Instagram TV, and and the, again, it's theoceancleanup.com. I want to see people rocking these sunglasses. And I'll tell you what. How long does it take for the sunglasses to get shipped? Um, I think most of them. It should be before Christmas. I mean, we they're shipping pretty quickly. So, listen. Yeah. If you guys buy these sunglasses, take some pictures. Send them to me. I'll be retweeting and posting a bunch of you guys in your sunglasses. The more people you can get wearing sunglasses, the better. If you can get 10 people wearing these sunglasses, guaranteed retweet. Otherwise, I'll just be picking people at random. I really want people to be rocking these sunglasses. This is the new look for 2020 into 2021. And it's all thanks to our good friend, Boyne. Anything else before we go, Boyne, to get people excited? No, it's, you're extremely uh, generous with your time. And uh, I mean, you'd be a, a great door-to-door -door salesman, I think. So I, I was um, a door-to-door -door salesman for well, several years. It's all about the <laughs> intro, short story, demo, close, and rehash. And that's why we got to say, not only is it important that you buy one pair, it's important you buy two or three or four or as, actually as many as you can afford. And if you can't afford it, stick it on your Christmas <laughs> list and, and slide that to someone who can't afford it. Because this is something that makes you look good. It makes you feel good, and it does good. It's all three, all three things. Exactly. Imagining having ten, it's like two hundred and forty football fields worth of ocean cleaned, right? Or yeah. Five. And, and, yeah. And, and, and before you go, talk, talk about this little function right here, this little yeah, barcode. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So the the idea is that we kind of want to, you know, of course, this is quite a, <laughs> it's quite difficult to get this plastic out of the ocean. It's a lot of sort of blood, sweat, and tears behind it, and kind of wanted to share that with, with everyone who, who gets these. So when you scan them, you can actually see a video of the plastic being taken out of the ocean that's now inside your, your pair of shades. So, um, so uh, yeah, it's kind of really bringing this whole circle to, uh, to a close. That's, that's the idea. That's so dope. That's so dope. Um, listen, man, I I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what you've done. I think you're really inspiring and uh, you give me, you give me a lot of, uh, faith and hope in, in the next generation. And um, you're, you're, really, you're really doing a great job. So let's keep in touch. And like I said, guys, go to theoceancleanup.com. Buy yourself a pair of these sunglasses. Buy some for your friends, your family, your lovers, your children, your parents, your grandparents. And, uh, and also, I, I suppose, since it's a, it's a kind of a nonprofit, you guys take crowdsourcing. So if you want a pair of sunglasses or if you just want a great way to, to give a donation is it uh is your company considered like um oh, there's like 501c3 yep. type of tax deductible okay so you can, put a ta you can get a tax deductible donation 
Yeah, exactly. So it's tax deductible. And even, you know, if, if you don't need sunglasses, of course, you know, any donation of any size is, uh, is always welcome. So, um, yeah, so at theoceanclub.com, uh, much more information about, of course, you know, how we clean the ocean as well as uh, how you can get involved. That's great, man. I appreciate it. I'm, I was just down at the beach yesterday with my son and uh, I love the ocean, man. Uh, and look, look, I got this, I got this Kualoa Private Nature Resort, which is out in Hawaii. I first fell in love with the ocean out in Hawaii, doing a lot of snorkeling out there, surfing right. out there. And I love it. And, and I think that's what inspired you, right? Like you were out, uh, you were out um, snorkeling in, in Greece. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, of course, one part, one version of the founder's story is that, of course, in the Netherlands, uh, weed is, is legal, you have these coffee shops here. Now, that's actually not the, the, the real founder's story. Um, indeed, it's um, when I went to, um, to, to Greece, I was 16, um, I was expecting to see all these, these beautiful things, like you see in sort of the documentaries, and I went underwater, and I was just, um, you know, quite, quite shocked about the amount of trash that I saw around me and I thought you know, why can we why can we clean this up and um, yeah that question kind of stuck with me and uh, you know, <laughs> working on it ever since so so dope so so exciting well listen pal uh, it's really great to see your face again and and let's keep in touch and everybody go to the ocean cleanup check it out get yourself a pair of sunglasses and uh, you know do something good for the environment like I said Tag me, tag Boyan, and, uh, and uh, for a possible uh, retweet. And like I said, if you get 10 people wearing these glasses in the picture, I will retweet that picture. I'll put it on Insta. I'll put it in my stories. It'll be good. 30-something, you know, a lot of people will see it, so that's good. Okay, Boyan, have a great rest of your day, pal. And, uh, you too. I'm, I'm, pr I'm proud of you. Keep going. God bless you, guy. Thank you so much. All right, see you, everybody. See you.